Bridge. They're going to run him off of the screen. Here he comes. Northern with him. McElroy for three. Yes! Wow. Manuel McElroy with a dozen, and Bob Huggins uses his final timeout. He has called four timeouts in the last minute, 35 seconds. And McElroy kid that hadn't made a three-point shot in about a month. That's that toughness I'm talking about. I mean, they take away Logan, they chase him all over the floor and force him out high. And McElroy, known as a defender, has great recognition to step back behind that three-point line and hit a huge shot for Cincinnati. Look, steps in, steps back, release, rotation, result. Three R's, huh? That's the three R's I learned growing up. <laughs> I wasn't very good in those other three. A lot easier for me to comprehend. 18.2 <laughs> to go. Cardinals lead it 72-71. Now, part of the interruption is coming up next here on ESPN2. And if Moonville can pull this off, Cincinnati would fall back to only one game up on Marquette and on Memphis. And there's a lot of fascinating possibilities. If Memphis and Marquette would tie for second place, Memphis would get the number two seat by beating Cincinnati if they do it Sunday, while Marquette split with UC. If Memphis, Marquette, and Charlotte all end up tied, Marquette would win the tiebreaker. They beat Cincinnati. Charlotte 0-2 against the Bearcats. So a lot of those mathematical possibilities out there. And without those East Carolina Pirates, we wouldn't be talking about some of this right now. Will the Louisville Cardinals add themselves to this week's list of upset specials? I'm sitting right beside you, and I still don't know what you just said. I'll explain it to you later after we catch uh -oh, the uh oh they leak out. Can he catch it? Yes. He can score. Reese Gaines. But it's still a one-possession game. Here's Parker into the hands of Logan. I tell you who's going to take that shot. Five seconds to tie. No. Parker to tie. No. Wow. Louisville pulls the upset. <laughs> it's not March Madness yet. But it's February frolic on the floor at Freedom Hall. How about that? Those little kids played their hearts out for Rick Pitino tonight. They bought into everything he talked about, that shoot around, that walk through. They brought it to the floor. He had that game just like he had to play it. Kept it in a broken floor situation, a transition game for the most part. They win the battle on the boards. And there was no question in my mind who was going to take this last shot for Cincinnati. Steve Logan, although it's from about 28 feet, that's the guy you still want shooting that ball. And the Louisville Cardinals just got themselves a big one. The celebration begins. Pardon the interruption is coming up next on ESPN2. Rick Pitino's Cardinals pull one of the biggest upsets of the year in conference.